What's good? What's good? I'm back. Yours truly, one and only Paul Pickett, host of the Paul Pickett Podcast, a.k.a. Triple P, a.k.a. AKA the Common Sense Podcast, your source for music, sports, politics, world events, and much, much more. Today, I'm going to react to a video of Republicans threatening to throw Twitter executives in prison for colluding with the government. But before we do that, I'm going to give you a word from Dizzle. Me and my team will never be link up. They're gonna be drink up. We sit on our relax and have few classes when there's things to think about. Like I'm nice with the bars when I tend to the bars and I'm not talking drink up. So tell the bartender that tend to the bar to please pass me a big cup up. And tell that waitress is waiting on us to put a little ice in it. Now watch the ice become weightless like the spaceships that I be sitting in. No waiting, listen, no, they're waiting for that tropical twist. That'll pick a good taste, but now taste up. Now I insist it's the Dizzle. That's right, it's the Dizzle. Dizzle is a premium luxury liqueur mixed with agave tequila, French cognac, and orange liquor mango mix. Just throw your Dizzle on ice and it's nice. If you want to order your very own bottle or bottles of Dizzle premium luxury liqueur, go to DizzleBrand.com, click on our locations, click on one of the top three website links. I recommend Emilio's Beverage. You must be 21 and over. Shipping and handling is included. Also, we got the Dizzle Brand merch. Hats, T-shirts, hoodies, and more. Go to DizzleBrand.com, click on Merchandise Store, or go to Etsy.com and search for Dizzle Brand or Etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash Dizzle Brand. Etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash shop forward slash Dizzle Brand. And just so y'all know, I'm not much of a drinker, but I believe in Dizzle a thousand percent. All these other liquor liquors have bamboozled us a whole lives they taste like shit they taste like crap but dizzle you just throw it on ice and it's nice all right let's get into it republicans threaten to lock twitter executives considered up in an aggressive visibility filter you silenced members of congress from communicating with yep. their constituents yeah you could you silenced me from communicating with the american people over a freaking joke now, who the hell do you think that you are? Election interference? Yeah, I would say that that was taking place because of you four sitting here. All right, guys. So as you may know, because of my last video of AOC having a complete meltdown in Congress because Republicans are having a hearing on the censorship of the Hunter Biden story, mainly done by Twitter. Uh, they- Which censorship should be illegal because it's a violation of your first amendment right there is a hearing in congress about twitter what it, there was today and nobody should be surprised to hear that the twitter executives um who were getting absolutely blasted by republicans were trying to play victim okay they're actually the victim here not the um republicans not the politicians not the people that were censored by twitter no 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 it was actually people like yo raw he was do- a victim elon musk really really you're gonna sit here and tell me that the people doing the censoring are the victims get the fuck out of here also made the decision to share a defamatory allegation that i support or condone pedophilia and this lie led directly to a wave of homophobic and anti-Semitic threats and harassment against me. What does that got to do with you fucking censoring other people? Not a motherfucking thing. Let's keep it moving. Which Twitter has removed vanishingly little. And following the Daily Mail's decision to publish where I live, ultimately I had to leave my home and sell it. Those are the... Oh, because Democrats ain't never published um, nobody's address online get the fuck out what this is the problem like i'm not saying i'm a republican because i've never voted republican i do have some conservative views but how can anybody side with this horse shit on the democrats at all all i hear every single day from democrats is hip hypocrisies and double standards double standards hypocrisies hypocrisies double standards double standards hypocrisies over and over and over and over again Let's keep it moving. Consequences for this type of online harassment and speech. 
And uh, Republicans went off, okay? And they aren't just talking tough. They're also promising consequences. Consequences for the actions that Twitter executives took to undermine freedom of speech in the First Amendment by working with the government to censor speech that the government, aka Democrats, don't like. Which definitely sounds like something they do in uh, communist countries like, uh, let's say, fucking China. So I want to play a few clips here that I think um, kind of are some highlights of um, this uh, congressional hearing. Uh, and I want to start with Miss Anna Paulina Luna, who is a freshman Latino woman in Congress. And she questions Yoel Roth about whether or not uh, Twitter communicated on a private uh, platform with the government in order to censor speech that uh, Democrats don't like. Take a look. Well, we're exchanging communications on Jira, a private cloud server, with CISA, NASS, NAS NASED, and Alex Stamos, who now works at Stanford and is a former security of um, security officer at Facebook, to remove a posting. Do you now remember communicating on a private cloud server to remove a posting? Yes or no? I wouldn't agree with the character. I don't care if you agree. This- you know what? Before he finishes, anytime you ask a question that is a yes or no answer involved and they start giving you anything more than a yes or no, they're fucking lying every time. I don't believe one motherfucker person on this planet when I ask you a yes or no question and you start giving me a fucking paragraph. This dude is lying through his fucking teeth. Did you, this, is, this is your stuff. Yes or no, did you communicate with a private entity, the government agency on a private cloud server? Yes I'll or answer no? for him. Yes, he the did. Question was if I yes or no. Yeah, I'm on time. Yes or no. Ma'am, I don't believe I can give you a yes or no. Well, I'm oh my gosh, right liar, now, liar, pants on fire. This, ladies and gentlemen, is joint action between the federal government and a private company to censor and violate the First Amendment. This is also known, and I'm so glad that there's many attorneys on this panel, joint state actors. It's highly illegal. You are all engaged in this action, and I want you to know that you will be all held accountable. Ms. Gaddy, are you still on CISA's Cybersecurity Advisory Council? Yes or no? Yes, I am. Okay. For those who have said that this is a pointless hearing, and I just want to let you guys all know, we found that Twitter was indeed communicating with the federal government to censor Americans. I'd like to remind you that this was all in place before January 6th. So so to say that... You know, I hate to cut her off. The idea that this is pointless. This is why we have our Second Amendment, because of fucking tyrants like this that try to fucking censor us and shit, you know, take away our very first fucking rights in this country the very first rights freedom of speech freedom of press the very i mean once you strip you try to go after the very first thing that you're not gonna tell me you're not trying to take away the rest of our fucking rights too because you are these mechanisms weren't in place and to make it about january 6 i want to let you know that you guys were actually in control of all of the content and clearly we have proof of that now, if you don't think that this is important to your constituents and the American people from those saying that this was a pointless hearing, I suggest you find other jobs. Chairman, I yield my time. Yeah, and then you yeah. had Lauren Boebert, who definitely has a personal vendetta against Twitter after finding out that she basically got shadow banned, a.k.a. censor, uh, for posting a tweet that the Twitter gods did not like. Mr. Roth, while at Twitter, how many meetings did you have with the FBI? I couldn't say for sure, but I more would say- More than 10? Was, that's a reasonable more than 20? estimate. I couldn't say for sure. More than 50? That seems a bit high. Many meetings with the FBI. Well, we know, uh, uh, how, how many FBI agents worked at Twitter while you were there? I don't believe any active FBI Former agents. Former FBI agents, how many worked there while you were there? I'm aware of perhaps two. Well, we know of at least nine, um, huh. because they started the BU group chat, BU for Bureau. Now, Mr. Hmm. Roth, did the FBI ever ask you to share information like users' communication can, data? Can somebody even explain for, explain to me why any FBI agents should be working for fucking Twitter? Unless you're spying on us and censoring us and going into our private information. Data without going through proper legal channels? 
No, they did not. And I would have refused if they had. Um, that's correct. I see that you denied Agent Chan's request for access to Twitter's data feed. What's sick isn't that you would deny it. Uh, it's that the FBI would even ask you for the private data of American citizens without going through legal channels. And you know what pisses me off about this? That people, these Americans in these other countries out here trying to ban TikTok, when, you know, they're like, oh, TikTok, China's tracking our info. Okay, and really, are we going to be such fucking hypocrites that the FBI tries to contact this dude on Twitter and gets all our fucking private information, but we want to sit here and make a fuss about China's tracking us through TikTok. Well, I could tell you this much about TikTok. TikTok has far better music promotion results than Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter put together. Let's keep it moving. Panels of the law. Now, I want to remind you, Mr. Roth, that you are under oath. Did the FBI ever ask you to do anything that was illegal or questionably legal? I'm not a lawyer, but certainly not to the best of my recollection or knowledge. Now, from the hearing that I've been a part of today. Um, it's almost impossible to tell where the FBI ends and where Twitter begins. We have Mr. Baker here, a former FBI agent, and there seems to be a revolving door between the FBI and Twitter itself. Um, even Mr. Baker said that there was no collusion with the federal government and Twitter. But Mr. Baker, yeah, right. that's you. You are the collusion between the federal government and the FBI. And now with it, this is such a problem because we're seeing censorship all over. Mr. Roth, Ms. Yep. Gaddy, did either of you approve the shadow? And not only are we seeing it all over, they're censoring like people that are not even popping yet. Like me, I've been censored on YouTube before. You know, it's like, really? And I was censored because I reacted to a video that was on YouTube. And all I said is, I agree with the video. And they're like, oh, misinformation. Of course, we know misinformation is anything that... Democrats or liberals of the left disagrees with. No banning of my account at Lauren Boebert. Yes or no? No, I did not. Not to the best of my recollection. Well, let me refresh your memory because on March 12th, 2021 and Mr. Roth, I know you looked at it because Fascist Twitter 1.0 had a public interest exceptions policy, which means for members of Congress to be shadow banned, it had to go before you, Mr. Roth. So mm. I'll ask again, did you shadow ban my account? Yes or no? Again, not to the best of my recollection. So the answer is, which Mr. Roth, yes. yes, you did. I found yes. out last which night from yes. Twitter staff that you suppressed my account. Anytime somebody says not to the best of my recollection, recollection they're lying. For this tweet, it's a freaking joke about Hillary Clinton being angry that she couldn't rig her election. It's a joke. But in response, being the sinister overlords that you all are, you placed a 90-day account filter so I could not be found. And now we see here that Twitter staff said the visibility filter on my account excluded me from top searches, prevented notifications for non-followers, and much more. This is considered an aggressive visibility filter. You silenced members of Congress from communicating with their constituents. You, you silenced me from communicating with the American people over a freaking joke. Now, who the hell do you think that you are? Election interference? Yeah, I would say that that was taking place because of you four sitting here. The Hunter Biden laptop story was suppressed. A sitting member of Congress was suppressed. A, a sitting president was banned from Twitter. You know, I and you know what? Just so you know, I throw this on the table. Suppressing information that could affect a presidential election is the very definition of trying to rig an election or rigging an election. So, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say there's definitive proof, but there's enough. Um, we got a, a, there's enough evidence of too much censorship to dismiss it, to dismiss the idea. And this idea that a, elections can't be rigged is horseshit because Rockefeller, Carnegie, and J.P. Morgan bought a fucking president 
which was William McKinley. You think they didn't rig that fucking election for him to win that fucking election? Get the fuck out of here. Then you had the shit going on with Florida with Jeb Bush. You know, this idea, um, I even know it for a fact in Mexico, elections have been rigged all the time. This idea that our system is just so perfect, it's so flawless, and it's, it's horse shit. Um, then you had a high number of um, people in nursing homes voting. I've seen my grandma in a nursing home before, and I can tell you right now, she couldn't fucking vote, and neither could most of the people in the fucking nursing home. They weren't even aware what the fucking the day was that day. The day they couldn't even tell you the day of the week or the or the damn the date of the month. And you wanted me to believe that they could decide who to vote for. And then censorship, censoring information definitely, you know, affects an election. If you if you're censoring information that, you know, like the Hunter Biden laptop, like that was that was the very definition of trying to rig the election by censoring information that could affect people's decision on whether they vote for Sleepy Joe or not. Bet that Putin is sitting in the Kremlin wishing he had as much election intervention interference as you four here today. We've heard about threats to democracy. Well, what about shutting down a duly elected member of Congress? This is fundamental to our nation's... You know... I'm glad she brought that up. Threats to democracy. I don't want to hear about no other threats to democracy when you're going after our very first fucking amendment. That's literally got to be the number one fucking threat to democracy when you're going after the very first, very first rights put in place. <laughs> Governance, and you all attacked that very foundation. 230 protections? Well, those are for publishers not for editors. And it's clear you were not acting as publishers, you were acting as editors. And Mr. Chairman, I think it's far past time that we remove 230 protections for, for big tech platforms who are abusing this protection. And let me just say, I'm not angry for myself. I'm not angry because I was silenced. I can reach out to Elon and to his staff and I can see what's happened. And I can sit here today and hold you all in account I am angry for the millions of Americans who were silenced because of your decisions, because of your actions, because of your collusion with the federal government. They can't reach out to Elon. They can't sit here today and hold you into account. We don't know where the FBI ends and Twitter begins. But I do want to thank Mr. Elon Chairman, Musk over for firing seconds you four and saving free speech and even Twitter. Mr. Chairman, I yield. Yeah, so you seen that, you heard that. All right, um, Lauren Boebert, okay? She is, uh, you know, airing out her grievances, okay? Uh, and rightfully so, against the Twitter yeah. executives because yeah. they did shadow ban a sitting member of Congress, which is insane to think about, right? They, they made it so it is a lot harder to find sitting members of Congress. I wonder how many Democrat um, members of Congress did uh, Twitter shadow ban. Probably zero. Probably not a lot of them. Zero, probably. Um, but hey. I guess a lot of people are wondering, like, okay, all these fireworks, okay, we keep seeing these fireworks in all these hearings. What is going to happen? Is anybody actually going to face any consequences? Well, according to Representative Clay Higgins, um, these people could go to jail, which is speaking my language. Take a look. Um, bottom line is that the FBI had to Biden crime family laptop for a year. They knew it was leaking. They knew it would hurt the Biden campaign. So the FBI used its relationship with Twitter to suppress criminal evidence being revealed. Criminal evidence. About Joe Biden one month before criminal the 2020 evidence. election. You ladies and gentlemen interfered with the United States of America 2020 presidential election knowingly and willingly. That's the bad news. It's going to get worse because this is the investigation part. Later comes the arrest part. <laughs> Your attorneys are familiar with that. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to spend five hours with these ladies and gentlemen doing depositions surely yet to come. But for right now, I'll yield the balance of my time to my colleague, Mr. Jordan. I yeah, that's. You know what? I love that right there. And. <sighs> 
I've never been one to wish anybody go to jail, celebrate, but if these people get locked up, I will pop freaking bottles. I'll be popping bottles of Dizzle all night long. And why is that? Because, see, I'm a marketing and advertising guy. I own a marketing and advertising guy. I mean, a market advertising company. I do a lot of music promotion and um, I, I just, I don't know. I'll never agree with this censorship. I will never agree with censorship. Um, I'll never support it. I'll never get behind it. And if you ever want me, if you expect me to side with anybody doing censorship, then you're dumbing in a bag of bricks, man. I'm also a musician. You know, Luke, Luther Campbell fought hard against this censorship shit and right now it's just it's it's just like they're censoring like every fucking day it's as common as the cold you know and this is why we have our second amendment to right to bear arms so well because eventually if this censorship keeps going on i'm gonna tell you right now there will be a civil war in america if they they keep trying to go after your freedom of speech and the right to bear arms you best believe there will be a civil war in America coming soon, you know, and I will tell you right now, I'm not going to be on the side that's trying to take away our freedom of speech or our guns. And, and the fact that people are siding with that, it's like you've you've literally volunteered to be a victim, to, to be a puppet, to be under the government's thumb and the government's control. And it makes no sense to me. Talking about language, right? Arrest, right? That is what we need to see. We need to see arrest. I'm tired of all the talking. I'm tired of Me the too. fireworks. Me too. I need to see some arrest, okay? Because actually speak louder people, than words. Um, you could argue are responsible for influencing the outcome of the 2020 election at the behest of the federal government and the Democrat Party, which, again, in my opinion, is a violation of the First Amendment. We cannot continue to have Democrats overtly violate the constitution and get away with it because nope. if we allow them to just break laws uh then we are a lawless country okay yep. we can't be a lawless country we have to enforce our laws which means that these twitter executives need to be criminally charged okay they need to be criminally charged so i agree i agree I with agree. mr higgins okay i want to see some arrests i'm tired of the tough talking in congress i'm glad they're having hearings right i'm glad they're doing this but we got to follow up, right? We got to follow You know what? I'm with him. Um, I've heard enough. Like, I'm tired of all the talk, too. And it doesn't even matter if Republicans are doing shit illegal. Lock them motherfuckers up, too. But clearly, clearly, they assisted and colluded with the government and one political side at that. And anybody that thinks this isn't rigging an election that suppressing information that could affect an election is not rigging an election then you're dumbing in a bag of bricks man just jump off a bridge and get it over with because you ain't you got a pea size of a fucking brain that should be common knowledge and common sense that if you suppress information that could affect a decision on voting that is the very definition of rigging an election once again i want to thank you for tuning in paul pickett podcast and I'm out.